Hospitalizations of COVID-19 patients have been followed closely on the Washington University Medical Campus. Hundreds of patients treated and released are followed for a couple of reasons. To learn more about those suffering from long-term symptoms and to discover more about the protective role of antibodies. Donors of convalescent plasma are enrolled in one study. Their plasma is donated to help hospitalized patients recover. The plasma may contain antibodies against COVID-19, but for how long? We don't know if you're protected, how long you're protected if you are, um, and you know we think that people can get infected again. Rachel Presti is the principal investigator. As the medical director of the Infectious Diseases Clinical Research Unit, Presti hopes to learn how long antibodies can protect recovered patients from getting infected again. It just hasn't been long enough to say definitively, no, this was completely resolved and you had an antibody response and then you got infected again with it, you know, as opposed to, well, it wasn't maybe completely resolved and maybe you're just shedding virus for a long period of time. We don't know when you're not infectious and whether or not you can get it again or not. And if we're collecting samples on people, then we can see, does the immune response change? Does the virus change? Is a diff different virus, did it mutate? And are you looking at a different virus now than we were looking at before? Presti is also a collaborator for a study following COVID-19 long haulers, those who are suffering from long-term symptoms for many weeks and months. Some people seem to have symptoms for a long time. They have this sort of brain fog, weakness or fatigue or, you know, shortness of breath that comes and goes. Um, so a lot of funny kind of long-term symptoms and we don't know how often that happens, how many people have long-term symptoms, when does it eventually go away, is there something different about the people who have long-term kind of syndromes and the people who get over and, and never have any problems. And so um, to figure that out, we really need to actually see people. How's your thinking? How's your energy? How's your breathing? Is there anything new or unusual? Um, and, and if we ask enough people, then we collect enough information to be able to say, so COVID isn't just an acute infection that you get over, like a, like a common cold, that, that in some people there may be long-term effects of it. The goal is to enroll 500 or more patients in both of the studies. With so many puzzle pieces, Presti is playing a role in multiple studies. She's also principal investigator of Washington University's COVID-19 vaccine trials. If we did get a vaccine that made an immune response, we would want to know how long does, does that immune response last? Maybe this is something like hepatitis B, where you get your vaccination when you're a baby and you never need it again and you're protected. Or maybe it's something that's more like influenza where we need to actually think about repeating the vaccine every year or anywhere in between.